Hello, everybody. Welcome to episode 10 of All the Mods 9 to the Sky. And today, well, we uh, clean up the base a little bit and get some organization started. Let's jump in and see how Applied Energistics 2 works. All right. Um, I, I want to do one thing before we wrap up RS Nouveau. I said we would wrap up RS Nouveau last episode. And the first thing I would like to do is get some uh, nether quartz. Like, a good bit of nether quartz. I think I need eight of them. Er, wait, wait. What was the nether quartz going to be used for? Oh, that's that's for something else. This is this is for something else. We we will need nether quartz here shortly. Uh, but uh, for this, yeah, this is what we needed. Uh, I wanted to get some of the uh, end stuff. That's it. And what we're going to do is take a stack of glowstone and just right click this on the lava barrel, get some. Got to wait until this uh, melts a bit. I think I should make a second superheated element here soon uh, for this, but yeah, I don't have that much time. Give me a moment. I will... No, no, no. Actually, I just want nine. I just want nine. Come on, give me two more. But yeah, I think I'm going to make more superheated elements. And a couple more porcelain crucibles. Just so we have a, a lava buffer. Or put a tank, say, maybe right here for right now. That might actually work. Uh, shift K, get us one in stone, one X. Hit this with our hammer to get crush in stone. And the reason why is I need coarse fruit. I might not get enough coarse fruit from this. So... <sighs> Uh, give me a few moments to get enough in stone um, forest fruit for what we're going to do with this. Okay, after uh, about a stack of chores fruit being uh, sieved down, or sorry, a stack of in stone being sieved down, uh, we got some uh, chores flowers. I ha I'm not going to use those. I, I was thinking about doing that, but I know that they take forever to get done. Uh, what we're going to need is eight of these uh, chores fruits processed to being popped. So eight, not ten, eight. Put the raw aluminum back in. I've been using a hopper to put them back into this chest here so yeah that that's that's what we're going to do is get that and while that is being processed we're going to need eight of these uh shift k that okay um gold gold i need 12 pieces of gold what we're going to do is make a couple of relays here, source relays, and I am going to take them and turn them into warper source relays, which requires uh, ender pearls, eight of them, because we're going to need to do this recipe twice. 
Uh, and yet this, these guys burn through this source like there's no tomorrow. Producing resources for us from that little mob farm. Okay, so we're going to take these two source jars up here as well. And is the fruit done? Yes, okay. So we're going to set those down there. And what we're going to do is one, two, three, four. One, two, three, and four. Four. Put these source relays in here. Nice particle effects. I love this. And this turns this into what's called a warper uh, source relay. Four, two, four. Get that one into a warper as well. Where is our Dominion one? Let's grab this because it's almost done. Okay, there we go. We're gonna set uh, this guy right here. And we're gonna need the Dominion one. This is why we're actually, what we're actually working on today's project. There it is. See? YouTube blindness. Okay, so we're going to break this guy. We're going to set this up underneath here. We're going to add this warper right here. And what we're going to do is make sure that this is empty. Right click this and click this. Okay, so. Taking from one location. So now we hit this and we see that blue flame right there, making sure that it is connected properly. Come all the way over here. Click that, and we saw a link being made, and it's taking from one location. We right-click from this, and we can left-click that, and see that it is filling that completely full. So we can right-click it again. We can see that red flame. And now we see the red flame on both of those. And I, I just wanted to send to all four of those guys, keep them completely all topped up, nice and full, while this is down here, making source for us at full speed. So, now, that's settled, fixed. Um, on to today's project. Okay, today, first thing we want to get is a charger. We need uh, iron and copper. That's it. Uh, I want to have a charger. You know, it's always good to have a charger. Uh, I mean, we technically do not need it because we already have a good bit of charge service ports in here. Next, uh, we want to get uh, an inscriber, which requires sticky pistons, which requires slime balls. Slime balls, we're going to get in a combiner, uh, sucrose and protein. Uh, we're going to need... We're going to need more than just two, but uh, we're just going to start out with just two. And 
might be like, Malcor, where, where are you going to get sucrose and protein from? Well, well, let's get back to the dissolver again. So we can put sugarcane in here. And we get sucrose. We're going to need more sucrose. There we go. I know I set some aside earlier. And then you're like, well, now that you got that, where are you getting protein from? Rotten flesh. Like we get three per each. Now we go into the combiner, unlock the recipe, open the recipe selection. We go, uh, I forgot that's how we got moss. Remember last episode, I was having issue with moss. Uh, slime balls. Well, we click that, we lock the recipe, and we can toss in the sucrose and the protein. Get us our couple of slime balls. And now we can make an inscriber. We're just going to need some redstone. Okay, one, two, three, five, six, seven, eight. And we'll go 12. Get some wood out of here. We're going to have to start uh, producing some EMC here soon. think that might be actually a project we should look into doing here shortly. Right. Got us a couple sticky pistons, and now we can make our inscriber. Now, inscribers can take power. We will be working quite a bit with um, AE2. So, this is just starting out. Now, we're going to need presses. Four of them, to be exact. The calculation, the engineering, the logic, and the silicon press. Uh, how are we going to get each of these? Well, with silicon, we take a sky stone, silicon, and an iron plate... Uh, and do this. We are going to need iron plates for all of these, so let's get to making an iron plate. We're going to need a couple sticks, iron, and a string. And what we're going to do is make a engineer's hammer. With that, we can just take regular one and get two plates. It's a lot better than the uh, basic uh, ore hammer method, which takes two ingots per plate. Just to let you guys know. Okay, so uh, skystone, silicon, skystone, and gold, skystone, and diamonds. So. Let's see here, we're going to need sky stone, which is this, silicon, and gold, and diamonds. All right. Uh, so sky stone goes in there. The iron plates go in there, and now we can just set this up so that we can just set one in at a time. And once we get the, what is the last one? Engineers, logic. Calculation is quartz. Okay. I was like, wait, what's the last one? Why don't 
we have the okay, quartz. All right, and now we have all four of the presses. Um, which is great. What we're going to need next is uh, give me a second to remember. We're going to need a drive I'm going to say a couple 4K uh 4k item cells there we go a quartz fiber right yeah yeah because that turns into the flux cables and we're going to need some of these, which requires charged uh, and redstone and another quartz. Yeah, that's that's why we needed another quartz. Um, There we go, we got six flux crystals. Simple process to make that those. We need a screen at slide, it's a terminal. Yeah, it is a terminal that we want. And what we're going to need is, say, say putting these calculation processes in here and getting a stack of those done up, some gold ones done up, and diamonds. So that's what I'm going to do while getting the rest of the stuff that we need here. It should only take a few minutes. So I'll be right back. Okay, I've been waiting for this to process, so I figured to uh, skip a little bit here. Uh, it took way too long to get two of these guys done. Uh, and make two calculation processes real quick. Um, can you see how slow those are, right? I need two of those, and there we go, this. I want to make uh, acceleration cards, which requires some uh, of these cards. We just need to get grab uh, this other one here. All right, and we combine these. With uh, some flux here, we get the acceleration cards, and we can toss these in here. And I'll show you, like, it pretty much makes this rip right through these. So, yeah, we've used a couple of those. See now how quick, how much quicker that is. So I will be right back once uh, I get the gold and diamonds processed and the rest of the silicon. Okay, with a little bit of a time excess, like about 20 minutes or so, uh, we got the processors. I've just been standing there watching uh, YouTube videos and getting distracted. Just to let you guys know, the, the 
relays that we place. Yeah, all those guys are full. That is full down there, by the way. So we're 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 good on source. We we've got source now traveling throughout the base. We're gonna use more warp ones later on. Uh, but first. I was looking through here and noticed that we actually have quests for this. So that that's actually cool. So uh, I just wanted you guys to know that. Now I need, need some some more quartz. So let's run this 18 through here real quick, see if we can get some more quartz. Uh, because we, we're going to need it for the next couple of steps. Just tossing two. Okay. Okay, we, we will deal with two, I guess. All right. Uh, toss these up in here. There we go. Got five of those. We might have to get into mystical agriculture here soon. Getting good stuff for it. Okay. Now, uh, it says to make terminals. That, that's one of the things it wants us to make, is some terminals. Uh, so, we're going to need quartz glass. Uh, I'm not sure how much quartz glass we're going to need, so we'll make like 16. Make a illuminated panel. I think we need one set right now. We need a terminal, which requires formation cores and annihilation cores, which we're going to need more quartz. Do we have any quartz? Uh, Quartz dust. Quartz dust. Uh, so so we're gonna need a I think uh, we're gonna make a sink real quick. See what we need to do this. Toss this in here. Because we're gonna we're gonna come up here and take sand, which we have in here. Get some of the witch water changed into soul sand. We need to automate this. That that's an idea. What do you guys think? We we should automate the uh, better production of sieving materials and stuff. I I think so. I think that should be a goal. I uh, we need a sink. I'm gonna see if that will be enough to get us one quartz. Because we do need one quartz for an annihilation. Yeah, okay, there we got it. We just we just need enough for one annihilation plane at this time. So uh, annihilation, another flux dust. Toss this in here. Uh, 
now we should be able to make an annihilation plane, which will get us the terminal. Uh, we're going to need a crafting table for the other one. We're, we're definitely not done making terminals because uh, there's a lot of other AE2 terminals that we're going to need, but that, that gets us through that quest. So we're going to need some basic cabling, which I showed you guys earlier is those along with some of these gets us this. Uh, we need two sets of this. Okay, there we go. Uh, formation, yep, I, I fully understand this. ME controller, they want us to make an ME controller, which requires skystone blocks, which requires skystone. Skystone can be... Done by smelting skystone dust. So we'll take a stack of skystone dust. We just need four of these. A controller. Controller, any controller. Where are you? That's refined storage. Controller. Okay. Uh, four of those, four crystals and engineering. Okay, so four of those. Four flux crystals, which we don't have any. Let's let's see if we can get some from rewards just to save us some time. Nope. But we did get four dust. Okay, this dust can be uh, submerged in water with charged certus quartz. So we can take this and take this, and there we go. We got four. Skystone blocks. We take the skystone. Skystone. And we get the skystone blocks. Just want one of these. The skystone gets done. Actually, no, no. We'll just set it up to auto process. Get the four skystone blocks. There we go. Now we can make a controller. And now it's going to tell us that we're going to need a drive. I don't understand why it's going to require us to make a chest as well. Honestly, I don't understand that portion, but uh, terminal, there we go, uh, ME chest. Whoa, what happened there? I don't know if you guys saw it in the video, but my screen just uh, fluctuated. Uh, and in the drive, there we go. There, now. Cell workbench, uh, ME IO port, uh, those are very useful and niche tools. 
and now it wants us to create our first storage cell, which is a 1K. So we go in here and say 1K, make one of these. With that, with the regular ports, um, I think we need a total of three of these, so we need more redstone. Soon we won't have to worry about this. We'll be able to just access it from a... What do you have? Podzel? Nothing worth it. Uh, okay. Uh, we can make the 4K here. And I, I like to stop at about 4K because... Those seem to be the best with the uh, quantity you can store. So 4K with different types, I meant, um, seem to be the best. So let's, let's set this down right, say, right here. We can open this up, put the 4K in. Uh, we'll set the controller right here. It can get power from that. Uh, we can set this so we can set the rafting terminal right like this. And I like to set this up so that it is full height. Yep. And now we can just Put our stuff in here. I don't want to put our book, our novella book in there. Uh, we'll take the tree capper as well, sand, copper quartz. Just a bit of this stuff here. Of course, it's raining again. All right, so there we go. Uh, gonna have to move all of this stuff into here. That's gonna be between episodes, folks. But before I get done, I want to make a flint and steel. Uh, along with our obsidian here. And... I think this would be a nice spot. Yeah, I think this is going to be a nice spot. We're going to need a couple of uh, building tools. I, I just want to see what the nether is like in all the mods 9 here on stream so we can plan ahead. Nope. Oh, man. I made a mistake. I'm going to need to get a pickaxe. Diamond pickaxe. Because uh, we don't have any other form of pickaxe right now that can break this. Come on. Come on, there we go. Two, three. There we go. Light this on fire. Let's hop into another, see what that's like, and we'll end this episode right here. Alright, so we've got us a void nether. Okay, so that tells me a lot of what I needed to know. So, until next time, hope you guys like the episode. 
uh, you like this episode, hit that like button. If you dislike this episode, go right ahead, hit that dislike button. Tell me why you dislike this episode. If you haven't done so yet, hit that subscribe button here. Go over to Twitch, follow me, say hello. I'm live every weekend, Thursday, Friday, Saturdays, uh, over on Twitch. We play a lot of fun games. Occasionally, if enough people can convince me, I do record this on stream. Uh, and members over there and part of our Discord actually get to join in on this server if they so want. So if you want to join in on this server, uh, along with the other crazy people that are on this server, uh, do so by going over there. And until next time, later Gators.